So today we're going to cover some of the key areas in your home where you're going to be losing energy that will impact your heating and cooling bills. So this home we're going through some renovations, retrofitting a few double and triple glaze windows, just patching up holes and overall improving the performance of the building envelope. So some of the key areas where a lot of these homes actually leak is around these arcs, around windows and doors, including on the inside here. These sliders are really good, so they're not gonna be leaking, but a lot of the common sliders that you got in these normal residential homes leak quite a lot. There's not much you can do about it. Penetration through air conditioning systems is a really important thing to fix. A lot of these homes usually have just big square cutouts for the pipes that go through as well as the electrical. So recessed lighting is a massive area where these old halogen globes just leak really badly. So in this particular occasion, we've just put a flat panel LED light directly fixed to the plaster ceiling and, um, and it leaks very minimally. So the range hood in kitchens can leak quite a lot, especially just behind this, um, this cover that's been installed. And the other important thing when it comes to range hoods is that we actually flew them directly to the outside and they're not, that they're not just fluing directly into the um, attic area in the roof. The other area that leaks quite a lot in, in homes or in pati particularly in kitchens is um, behind the dishwashers. And usually that's because the actual behind the kitchen you're getting a lot of air leakage and a lot of that air just passes behind the, uh, the dishwasher. So the other area that's a really massive issue in kitchens is that sometimes they've been designed to have a big gaping hole behind the fridge to ventilate the fridge, uh, going straight up into the, into the attic area. So in these particular circumstances, you don't need that sort of ventilation behind your fridge. You can actually seal that off and improve how airtight your home is. So the other thing that is really important for the performance of the building envelope is uh, floorboards. Floorboards can leak an exorbitant amount of air and it's a key area where if you make floorboards more airtight it can improve how airtight your building envelope is because the floor is actually a large surface area in your home. So in this room we had wall vents, they've now been sealed up. It's really important to seal up wall vents, especially when you've got a ducted heating system, because when you close doors into those rooms, you're pressurizing the room and it's just pushing the hot air directly outside. The other area where a lot of air leakage can occur in a, in a home is your exhaust. When they don't have an actual draft stopper on them, so they really need to get a draft stopper installed on top of them. And the other potential area of a significant air leakage is also your manhole. So a draft stopper that you'd install is something similar to this. You have to go up in the roof cavity and install it over. So this is just a few issues that are common in Australian homes. Go to our website and get more ideas on how to rectify them or even to find other areas that could potentially be impacting the performance of your home and costing you more on your bills for heating and cooling.